Hi, my name is Musa Mshanya, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about a paper we just published in Cell called Chromosomal Contact Permits Transcription of Co-Regulated Genes. Every cell in your body contains DNA, and if we were to lay out the DNA end-to-end, -end, we'd find that we'd have a length of DNA in each of your over 1 trillion cells about the length of your iPhone headphones. So that's around one and a half meters long. And by some feat of origami, this DNA is folded many, many times so that it's almost invisible to the naked eye. And actually, the fact of folding this DNA into many, many times smaller than its one-dimensional length results in the fact that all the DNA is in contact and touching each other in many different ways. And for a long time, scientists have speculated whether the actual contact of the DNA had some influence on whether genes would change from the off state to the on state. In our work in this paper, we show that the long-standing question of whether genes contact is involved in their activation is actually true. There is this enormous amount of DNA that's compacted into a nucleus which is 1 50th the size of a grain of sand. So the point I'm trying to make is that the nucleus is a highly crowded environment and because of this, there's going to be regions where the DNA intersects or touches. And this is referred to as gene kissing. And it's been known for a very long time that this happens, but what has not been understood is how this impacts on the ability of genes to be switched on. In other words, does the three-dimensional contact between the DNA influence whether the gene changes from the off state to the on state? She was able to show very elegantly that the contact between these genes is necessary for the transcription of RNA to occur. So this means that in the future, it may be possible for us to very discreetly stop cancers from occurring in cells simply by targeting one important member or gene in a multi-gene complex and preventing it from making contact with another gene. Or it may be even possible in the future to change a stem cell's fate from one particular type of stem cell to another simply by changing the contacts in which particular genes engage in during transcription. It's a very exciting future for stem cell biology, for human health, especially with our understanding of how genes are regulated because genes are at the center of all life.